Hey everyone, Repose here, and I'm back with another live commentary, this time off stream, and I just want to show you guys how to level really fast on a rogue, because uh, tomorrow, or when I upload this, it might be today, is the wipe, the first wipe of the game, everyone's character levels are going to reset, all the items will be reset and everything, and I just want to show you guys how to level up really fast, because rogue without perks is pure pain. So first things first, we're just going to kill every enemy we see and break every pot we see for experience. Okay, a little bit of lag. Okay, off rip, rapier. Which is pretty good, but I'm actually not going to use it because that almost just seems scripted at this point. And it's not realistic of what a normal run would look like, so... Not going to take the rapier, but it would be really nice to have. Definitely speed things up a little bit, especially when we do go down to hell. Because for the most amount of XP, you definitely want to take the red portals. And, oh. A little bit of a blunder took a hit there. All good, though. We should be chilling. For my only perk, since I'm level 1, I took double jump. And yeah, double jump is just too nice not to have. You could take a uh, poison weapon, but double jump's pretty nice for helping cheese mobs and how. And escape players just in general. Okay, the servers are looking a little bit laggy right now, but that's okay. And I stuck with the rupture just because I'm gonna be using. That's likely the default rondo the whole time, so... Rupture's decent. Normally, I almost always take weak point these days. It's just too good not to have. Okay, another rapier. Interesting, interesting. I think the devs might be watching or something. I'm not sure. I mean, if you get a rapier, definitely using it. I'm just not using it because you're not going to find one every run. And I want this video to be accurate to what a normal game would look like. Okay, get some gloves. When I get the gloves, I drop the chest piece. And as you can see, I'm negative 7% physical damage reduction, which... Obviously, it's not good to be in the negative, but 7% isn't that bad. Okay... Archer. I do kind of want to kill the mage because it's decent XP, I think. At least I'm assuming. I don't know the actual exact XP values for everything, but... Clearly the mage skeletons get more XP than archers and whatnot. I'm gonna grab the skull because it doesn't sell for much at all. I'll get some boots. I'll keep the cowl for now just because the... Yeah, those boots don't give me that much armor rating, so... I don't want to get one tapped by a ranger. Okay, blue health potion, nice. It's actually really good to get right now. Let's heal for 35 now. It's pretty good. Okay, get that. Yeah, there is some uh, interesting lag going on right now the servers hopefully that doesn't end up getting us killed here okay light foot boost that's really good grab that what am i at right now two percent two percent i think i'll drop it take the extra move speed This isn't the best time to film this, it just uh, seems to be some server issues. Thought I heard someone maybe. Okay, finally we take those guys down. Couple gems. 
Just want to open every chest we can, kill every enemy we can for maximum XP. And people were asking me in my other video why I'm not using the Rondel over the Castellan. When the default Castellan has two more base damage, also it has bonus damage on the third hit, which you can actually see on the menu there. And honestly, the reason is the Rondel range is just way nicer in a lot of situations. Um, like against melee skeletons, a lot of the times you won't get the third hit off on the Castellan because by the time you're going for the third hit, the, the skeleton attack is already coming down. Um, it's kind of preference, but I prefer the Rondel most of the time. Obviously, if you like the cast on, go for it. I mean, ideally, I would find some kind of stiletto, but actually the Rondel is better for a lot of enemies when we get down to hell. More light foot boots, okay. And there's been some action in this lobby. It's already like, what, seven people done? Just good. The more people that die, the less chance we meet someone in hell, because that's like a the worst case scenario. I prefer to just take the red portal, no one be down there with me. I just kill all the mobs I see and I'm chilling. For maximum max speed, that's usually the best outcome, I would say. And yeah, as I was saying, um, if you get level 5, if you're purely going for XP, you definitely can take a uh, poison weapon. It helps with clearing mobs a lot. Oh, I hear someone. Get the potion off the belt. This guy. Not sure if you saw him. Maybe you got some caped people running around here, which is always scary when you have nothing. Not really too sure what's going on here. If I got a couple stabs, yeah. I don't think there's any chance I kill him. I'm gonna get out of there. It was worth the shot. He was drinking a potion, so he could have been really low maybe, but... Nah, with that weak point versus plate armor. Very unlikely that I can kill that dude. Looks like this stuff's already looted. Like these pots, they made it so pots actually give you an experience when you break them now, which is pretty nice. I'm sorry about the lag, this is not optimal, but we're rolling with it for now. There's a lot of lights turned off in here, which... Okay, and a mimic. That's odd. Decent possibility there's a rogue sneaking around here. Trousers, I'll take those. Okay, I have portals to my north, so I'll keep it in mind. Um, probably could kill the raid. It's gonna take me a while, but it's good experience. I'm, I'm quite certain. Just move them around this pillar. I <laughs> don't want to get hit, it's gonna hurt a lot. If you have str if you're struggling with any of the mods in the game. Just remember, 
play not to greed for damage. You just play it slow. Don't try to like squeeze in an extra auto attack at the last second. Just get the guaranteed hits and then uh, back up and pretty much any mob can be killed without taking damage if you do that. And you kind of have an idea of what you're doing. Because I remember when I started the game, the, the Wraith scared the absolute hell out of me. I would just look at him and run in fear. But now even in High Roller, the, uh, the Elite Wraith basically just free farm. Even with the Grey Dagger. Okay, keep looting here. Some dead mobs, a little bit odd. Okay, I saw it. That was a fighter with a cape. In general, teams... Oh, I saw team take reds. Oh, that is not optimal. Kind of throws a wrench into my plans here, not gonna lie. But we'll see if we can make it work anyway. Some reds right here. I'm gonna go out and steal one of these. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens now. Normally in hell, if I'm solo, it's pretty easy. Even without heals, I should be good. But if I got two teams down here. This might get a little bit crazy. We'll see if we can make it out. We'll see if we can make it out here. But nothing is certain. Hey, we're in. Now, oh, hopefully we get a good zone. Okay, that zone is really bad. You see these dogs? Just give them a little poke and just kind of strafe around them. When they're charging, you already want to be moving to the side. Like that. And take them down easily. That works even with the, uh, the nightmare dogs. You just have to move a little bit quicker and greet a little bit less for damage versus those ones. Okay, green rondel. I will take that. Sticking with the rondel theme. Is the range is the same? It just will be helping me kill enemies a little bit faster. Which isn't too crazy. I didn't want to take the rapiers because it kind of changes the gameplay. But uh, everything I'm going to do, you can do with the gray rondel. It'll just be faster with the green one. Okay, so next thing is this Berserker. What I usually do is I just come up here onto the box. When you open it up, you get a little bit more height on the top of it. And these guys won't actually swing. You can just easily kill them. Just like that. Um... Uh oh. Oh, there he is. Body kind of went flying there a little bit. All good though. Okay, so I want to move it in the zone as fast as possible. In this one, there are other people down here, which is a bit scary. Might even try the boss. I'm going to open this up and take a peek here. And yep, there they are. They probably saw me. So I'm just going to try to get in the zone here. More centralized, rather. Hopefully this isn't a mimic. That'd be really bad. You can actually check if you come up to it on the side. You can, like, look inside of it. I don't think I have enough space uh, in this area, though. Yeah, I can't see. Hopefully it's not a mimic. There we go. Oh, 
there's a chance that that dude didn't see me, but I'm gonna assume he did and just play it safe here. Honestly, if I space a little better, I'd probably get a kill the zombie without the the gas being emitted, but it's fine. It's just not ideal if they were to open the door and see that it's pretty obvious I'm close. Oh wait, got a dog here. It's in the box, looks like nothing. A lot of nothing. I'm gonna slide over here. There's a berserker that kind of roams the area that I don't really want to aggro on here. Dang, I heard the door open. I'm gonna go ahead and open all these doors, so if they try to chase me, they're gonna pull all of the mobs. And the good news is, now that I'm perfectly centralized in the zone, so if any portal spawn, I have a good chance of them being right on me, and I should be able to get out. Sadly, since there's other people, I'm not gonna get as much XP as I could have, but... Killed a few mobs, and should be a good amount. Over here, what I was talking about the chest, so you can look in and I can see it's a normal chest, it doesn't have mimic innards, and it's not really too important to check for that. But if you're low and you want to open a chest, oh, the bitch is done. But if you're low and you want to open a chest, you don't want to risk it. You can look inside and see if uh, it's a mimic or not, as long as you have space to go to the side of it. Um, okay, at this point. That uh, team just killed the boss, and I'm kind of praying I can get a portal. And team's coming through. This is not optimal for me. Probably gonna die. I'd feel better if I had 10 stops, because maybe I could sneak around a little bit more, but... Yeah, with just hide and no will, my hide's not even going to last that long, so. Gonna need a portal to spawn in front of me as soon as possible and just pray. Yeah, this is pretty bad. There's a skeleton right there that I want to aggro. We're to spawn here. I'm just going to run for it. And... Wow, luckily... Looks like I might just make it out of here alive. Get a little greedy here for a bit more treasure. What's going on with this dude? Nothing. Okay, and that's looking like a wrap for the run. Maybe I can get a little bit more XP. I'll just pull this guy in here so I can kill him and loot him. And if they push me, I'll just grab the portal. My only worry is if the ranger peeks me, he could just one shot HUD shot me. Which would not be good, obviously. Looks like I'm chilling though. I don't really know where these people are at. 
Grab the keep it off the hot bar. In general, no matter what class you're playing, you should always just keep the uh consumables that give off light off the hot bar because you never know when you're gonna be in a spot where you might need to play off the darkness. It might seem annoying and like not worth it at first, but if you have empty inventory space, you might as well use it. It's one of the main things that I used to not do in the past. Looks like someone just died, so I guess there's another team fighting, so I should be good to get even more greedy here, it looks like. Pop this chest open. Okay, and actually I'm going to go ahead and open these portals because you do get a little bit of XP just for opening portals as far as I'm aware. Open that one. Open that one. Maybe even open this chest. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Just trying to scare the guy. I don't really want to get one tub, so I'm going to go ahead and leave. And, yeah, as usual, we got the full, full geared squad roaming around in normals. That is normal. Good run. Decent. So... I got level 3 off one run. Not too bad, but it easily could have been level 4 or 5 if I wasn't down in hell with two other squads. Um, yeah. Basically level 4 off that one run, which isn't bad. And you run a few of those, and before you know it, you'll be level 15 with all your perks equipped. And the nice thing is, along the way, we got a bunch of treasure. Let me make sure I'm selling everything. Get rid of that, sell the lantern I was hanging on to, and yeah, a quick 300 gold run. Not bad at all. I could go ahead and even come over to the goblin merchant, do a little gambling. Boom. Two strength. Nice. Rondel, get that too. Three and one. Okay, wait, we're on a roll here. Get some more. Okay, and there it is. Never gamble. But yeah, that's my, uh, my guide to leveling up pretty fast as a rogue. You can do it solo or with the team. And my recommendation, if you want to speed it up, is once you get level 5, just throw on Poison Weapon, and you'll kill stuff even faster. And yeah, hope this helps you guys on Wipe Day, and thanks for watching. Peace!